Guys, we have a whole bunch of cops here for these two trucks. They got guys sitting on the curb right here, handcuffed. I'm staying over here on this side of the road because there's so many cops. Being on that side over there, I, I just wouldn't be able to get everything. You know what I mean? Like, let's say they take these guys, start walking them back here, I can just walk down the sidewalk. Whereas over here, I'd kind of be stuck because the cops aren't going to let me run back and forth. They'll be like, hey, you're a thing. When you're going to be arrested, you're detained. <clears throat> We've got two, four, five police cars for these big trucks. Whoa, what the hell was that? That dude just hit something. Palm tree leaf or something. And where's the driver of this truck? Unless these are the two drivers. I was thinking driver passenger. Maybe this one was uh I don't know, they're the same trucks, huh? Like the same model and everything. Chevrolet. So that is the driver passenger. So where's the driver of this one locked up or something? So what did we have? Road rage or something? I mean it looks like the same truck, different rims. Oh, over here. He said we could tow it for something. I couldn't hear what he said, but he said they're gonna tow it. My question is why so many vehicles out here? Not I mean cop cars. This guy's talking, so let me come up here. Technically, I could cross right now, but they'll probably get you jaywalking. In January, I can do it, because there's no other cars, and it would be safe. So I'm gonna wait till January and start doing that. Not intentionally, I mean, when I have, when I have to, like right now, jaywalk over here. Because in January, jaywalking is legal as long as you do it in a safe, manner and since there's no other cars it would be a safe manner by the way if i hadn't said it we're on san bernardino avenue in redlands down here somewhere is california where uh redlands walmart is the walmart in redlands is right here and you take a right go down um, this is San Bernardino Avenue. In fact, we're near where the shootout took place in December a few years ago. Uh, remember where the guy went in the um, IRC building and shot it up during the Christmas party? Him and his wife, and they were uh, chased by all the cops and then gunned down in the street. This is not too far from us here down this way where that occurred So if you haven't watched 
the recent videos in Tucson, go watch James Freeman. And listen to them. James Freeman and Direct D. Watch their capture of the arrest. Reluctant something, I forgot. <clears throat> this my channel. But uh, let me know what you guys think. And you know, I've been trying not to criticize. I'm one not to criticize, but I don't know. It was kind of fishy too, because if you watch both videos, James Freeman's and Drake D's, <clears throat> the cop, when he pulls him over, says, you're doing 40 and a 25. And then later says something about two miles over the speed limit. Well, that wouldn't be 40 and a 25. But then there's other you're pissed off because we got in front of you at the traffic light and, <coughs> you know but then the cop wasn't behind them he like swerves in another lane because they're recording out the back window comes flying up behind the car follows them for just a tad and then lights them up so i don't know you know and again sometimes videos are just kind of awkward when you're trying to figure out what happened You know, and sometimes we don't get to see the whole picture. Maybe they start recording late. Maybe, um, you know, I don't know, but... And I'm not, again, I'm not saying Drake D or James Freeman or anyone is in error. I'm just saying it's... Uh, it just it looks kind of... Quest There's a lot of questions, unanswered questions there. But the way that they interact with the police, I'm surprised nobody got arrested. I'm blown away. I'm like, my jaw dropped. I'm like, what the heck? So go watch that. How many cops does it take to wait on a tow truck? Now I'm kind of hanging out to see if driver of this truck is in one of these cars here, or if they pulled it over, like for no license or something, and maybe that was what this truck was for, to come pick him up, but again, why so many, you know, why so many cars, and those guys were sitting on that dirty ass curb right there, and then they were allowed to leave. I thought he was handcuffed because his hands were behind his back. He just like, you know, took him out. Like, so he wasn't handcuffed. Yeah, I almost hate to uh, talk about other people in the cop watch first amendment audit community because you mention anybody man it's like you start a little civil war but he's like why what about you why don't you do your own thing and, but i like to get other people's opinions on what they think did he say you're taking the body so he's taking him to jail he literally said you're taking the body But yeah, so I, but that one, I, it was just awkward to watch, sort of. They're going to CDC, Central Detention Center. So this guy got arrested. Okay, well I'm out because he just took him. To, he just took him. So all they're doing now is they're reporting and they're gonna tow it. I'll keep this rolling for a second or two though in case the cops decide to shout at me.
or maybe they won't. Yeah, they're doing their own thing. <laughs>